Landscape photography is really my passion. So this trip is very unique for me because I'm exploring places that I have never been to, but in some places no one has ever been to. I'm Albert Dross, I'm a professional landscape photographer from the Netherlands. I organize a lot of photography workshops and photo tours. I sell prints, I write for some magazines, I write for the photography blogs. So through the whole year I'm working a lot, but I also think it's very important to keep innovating. Visit a new country, try to plan a crazy shot. I just want to keep challenging myself. My girlfriend is from uh, Kyrgyzstan and I met her in Amsterdam. And before I met her, actually, I had almost never heard of this country. When I was doing some research online, I was really drawn. Uh, I wanted to explore it. In Kyrgyzstan, you drive through areas uh, with very interesting uh, canyons. You come to really empty plains where only some shepherds live. You know, I wanted to see places that almost no one has been to. Uh, and here I also marked some spots like right next to the road, you see, so I can lift the drone here. And so it's okay. actually very close to each other. You know, when I checked this, I didn't know that this part, yeah. if it's a road or a ridge or... It's a <laughs> river, yeah, actually. <laughs> a river, yeah, and you can drive there. I picked this timing for this trip specifically to shoot some stars and Milky Way shots. So during the day we usually uh, scout around, do some shots with the drone. I use Google Earth, but also planning apps for my phone and for the computer. Milky Way, three o'clock, this direction. During the night, I will then go there to photograph them. The fun thing and also the challenging uh, thing about these shots is that we plan them together and we execute them during the night. It's pitch black and it's uh, around minus 10 degrees. It's, it's a bit uh, difficult in the beginning when you have to wake up at 3 or 4 a.m. But once you're out there, uh, it's just beautiful. See? Mm -hmm. cool. Then if you, if you would stand here, mm -hmm. then it's also nice. Yes, like this, yeah, good. In these canyons, there's a lot of interesting structures uh, and you can really play with light. We're using Timur's headlamp to light up this rock, which we actually called the iceberg. Uh, and it gives a really magical effect. It looks really like a science fiction poster. We also brought an old oil lamp that we would use to light up a scene. And it gives a very nice soft light result uh, in the frame. These sceneries, they offer so much possibilities for night shootings. But the end result is not only the picture you see, it's the whole experience that we had taking this picture. So in this country, you can really find beauty anywhere. When we're driving around, I look out the window and often I just see scenes. I saw this really beautiful tree against this huge mountain backdrop and there were some horses walking around. We also visit a water reservoir, a big lake, uh, which was partly frozen. I could fly the drone and see top down. A uh, very interesting contrast between the landscapes. Uh, amazing textures from the sky. And it's very easy here in Kyrgyzstan, uh, on most of the roads, you can just uh, stop, get out, take the shot. Scenes like this, they're totally unplanned. Sometimes you will get great shots just from that. Through my images, especially from a place like this that not that many people have seen, I want to show how beautiful these places are and that is definitely worth to visit. The hospitality everywhere is very good and the locals here in general, it's like you go back in time. They live in the mountains, it's beautiful nature around them. It's very interesting to see how these people live. What impressed me the most was really that you have all these different kind of landscapes just in one place. Canyons like in Utah, the mountains that we have in Europe, peaks that you see in the Himalaya. It's very inviting for me as a landscape photographer to go out there and explore the beauty of the country.